Retirement is a word that people associate with different things. For many, it's simply the light and the end of a very long tunnel, consisting of 40 years of hard work where you can finally enjoy life, travel, and explore the world. The problem with this is that 40 years is a very long time, and when you finally reach retirement at around 65, you might not have the health and energy to go travel the world like you have dreamed about your entire life. I'm not going to lie, retiring within 10 years is not easy, and for many it might seem impossible. But in this video, we are going to break down everything you need to do to accomplish that, and we will show you some different ideas of retirement. Maybe it's not as black and white as you might have thought. This is investing. In a nutshell. To be able to retire in 10 years, you need to save and invest money. Unless you win the lottery or something, or inherit a fortune. The amount you need to save each month depends on how long you want to save for before being able to retire. When we say retire, we mean the point where your investments can sustainably give you the same amount of money each year as your job does today. In order to calculate this, we decided to use the 4% rule. If you want us to make a video explaining the 4% rule, and why you should or should not put your trust in it, comment 4% rule down below. In a nutshell, the 4% rule suggests that based on historical data from the past centuries, 4% is a withdrawal rate at which point your investment savings should last until you die. That is, if you have your entire retirement savings in the stock market. A withdrawal rate of 4% will give you a 97% chance that your money will last for 30 years. If you're very ambitious and want to retire already in your 30s, meaning that you will want your savings to last more like 60 years, your chances are down to 89%, which is still quite good. If you want your chances to be 100% for both 30 and 60 years, at least according to historical data, you need to go for a 3% withdrawal rate, which of course means you need to save even more before retirement. To find the amount you need to have saved up for retirement, you simply multiply your annual expenses or your current salary by 25 for the 4% withdrawal rate and by 33.3 .3 for the ambitious 3%. As mentioned earlier, we will use the 4% rule in this video, since it's suitable for most people. But feel free to make your own calculations using 3% instead. If you want to be able to withdraw $50,000 a year, this means you need $1.25 million invested in your retirement account. That might sound like an almost impossible task to achieve, but we're going to break down exactly how much you need to save and for how long in order to reach that goal. Let's start with a savings rate that for most people seem possible, and that we have been talking about as a minimum on this channel earlier. Pay yourself first with 10%. If you earn $50,000 a year and save 10% of your income, it will take you 39 years to reach $1.25 million, assuming an 8% annual return on your investments. Probably not what you were hoping for, but it is quite amazing that investing $417 a month is enough to reach financial independence in your early 60s if you start in your mid-20s. So what does it really take to retire in 10 years if you start from nothing? The truth is that if you want $1.25 million invested within 10 years, with an annual salary of $50,000 and an annual return of 8%, it's impossible. Even if you invested 100% of your income, it would still take you almost 14 years to reach your goal. But before you skip the rest of the video, there is one thing we have forgotten to put in the calculations. If your savings rate is 10%, you don't really need 100% of your income. You only need 90%. In that case, you also only need to reach $1.125 million in your investment account. Not a huge difference, and you would only be able to retire one year earlier with this savings rate. But if you increase your savings rate, that also means you manage to live off less money. If you have a savings rate of 50%, you will be able to retire in 14 years. And if you want to retire within 10 years, you need a savings rate of 64%. Saving that much means making a lot of sacrifices, and it's not for everyone. But it is possible if you're motivated and disciplined. But it brings us back to the question of what retirement really means. Is it just about not having to go to work every day? Is that worth all the sacrifices you need to make in order to save 64% of your income? And then when you reach your goal, you need to live off $18,000 a year until you die. If yes, 
Great, go for it. But if your dream is to travel the world or to just be with your family and spoil your kids and grandkids without having to worry about money, we want to tell you about a different concept of retirement that might be the golden mean. Mini Retirements When we think of retirement, it's usually the idea of going to work for 40 years, and then when you reach your mid-60s, you finally get to enjoy freedom after a long working career. However, having to work for 40 years to get to have 10 to 20 years if you're lucky of freedom when you're older with less energy is not the most appealing idea to most people. On the other hand, saving everything you earn for 10 years to then live off a bare minimum for decades is not really that appealing either. This is where mini retirements come in. Mini retirements are simply short or long breaks from your working career. It can be taking a year off every 10 years or taking three months off every five years, or any other balance that feels right for you. There are several benefits to this compared to early retirement. 1. It doesn't take as much money saved up before you can have your first mini retirement, which means you can do it even earlier in your career than you would be able to achieve early retirement. This way you get to enjoy the freedom when you're still young. 2. If your goal is to travel, you can rent out your house or apartment for your mini retirement, and that way cover a lot of your costs. This is, of course, also possible with traditional or early retirement as well. But when you're permanently retired, you probably won't travel permanently. 3. It can give you just the break you need and give you new energy to come back to work again. For many people, the goal is to not stop working. It's just to get a better balance. And with many retirements, you can make yourself the perfect balance. 4. Since you're planning to go back to work, it can be less stressful financially. If you retire permanently in your 30s, with a savings account of less than a half a million dollars, you might have a constant feeling of living on the edge financially. If a big financial crisis occurs, the stress might get too big, and you might end up having to go back to the working force. And if your plan was permanent retirement, that might be difficult since you don't have any plan for going back. In conclusion, there are several ways to look at retirement. If your goal is to retire as quickly as possible, no matter the cost, we've shown you that it's in fact possible to do that within 10 years. But if you like what you do for a living and just want the freedom to take some months off to travel or to take a year to recharge your batteries once in a while, you don't need to sacrifice as much to make it possible. In the end, we're all different and you can make your own retirement plan according to your needs and goals in life. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.